What about gastroparesis and ozempic majaro of their, of their GLP-1 agonists? Turns out that some people have complained that they have gotten gastroparesis. Well, let's start out with what that is. Paralyzed stomach. Your stomach doesn't empty well, meaning it fills up with stuff and eventually you can lead to vomiting or reflux. Pretty uncomfortable. You have probably had gastroparesis when you had a viral infection of the stomach. Your stomach didn't empty well, it filled up with stuff, filled up with fluid, and eventually it erupted on out. There are certain conditions in life that cause people to have that normally. Conditions like diabetes. Some patients with diabetes get a paralyzed stomach. If stomach doesn't empty well, they're constantly nauseated, they have to be careful about what they eat, they have to go on a special diet, and eventually they may even need surgery. Other things that cause paralytic stomachs include nerve damage to the esophagus, which can happen during some surgeries or some vagal nerve problems. Some brain problems can cause gastroparesis. Some drugs can cause it, and that's what brings us to Ozempic and Manjaro. Part of the way the GLP-1 agonists work is to delay stomach emptying. Your stu stuff stays in your stomach for a while. So if you eat too much, you're just not going to empty as fast and you're going to be uncomfortable, so you learn to eat less. Certain foods, by the way, also do that. They delay gastric emptying. That's why certain foods are really a part of a diet if you're trying to lose weight. Those foods are the bitter foods, like collard greens, broccoli, kind of bitter vegetables, lettuces. All of those bitter foods cause the stomach to empty because, get this, in the stomach, you have taste buds, just like on your tongue, for the bitter taste buds there in your stomach, and we're stimulated by bitter foods, your stomach slows down emptying. Hence, why a little bit of salad and all those things are actually good for you to slow down that. But it becomes pathologic if it never opens up again. Now, while GLP-1s are great for slowing down it, you don't want to get to the point where it permanently stops that. And we frankly don't know if GLP-1 agonists permanently stop that or if they exacerbate the symptoms of those who already have it. So here's what we suggest. If you have diabetes or if you've had previous stomach surgery, we would suggest highly that you get a gastric emptying study. It's a nuclear medicine study where they feed you a meal that has radioactive stuff on it and they follow it through to see how well your stomach empties. And if you have gastroparesis, you should get a further workup by your gastroenterologist to see what can be done. So we don't know again if GLP-1s cause this as a permanent or if they unveil something that's already there. Fortunately, this only happens to about a little less than 2% of the adult population, females more than males. But again, if you're thinking of doing this and you have some diabetes or questions about how your stomach is emptying, please see your doctor and talk about getting a gastric emptying study. If you like this and more tips, like, follow, share.